Right, let's take this forward. The spouse of the Deputy President, Pastor Dorcas Rigavi, now says African, the African continent is not ready for same-sex marriages. Speaking during the launch of Jesus Africa book by Pastor Patience Museveni, the daughter of President Kiweri Museveni, Pastor Dorcas said Africa would rather miss trade with the nations advocating for LGBTQ than legalize the vice. Yes, and more stories in the county news roundup. Even after the Supreme Court ruled that LGBTQ persons in the country have a right to associate, Pastor Dokas Rigathi has condemned the legalization of LGBTQ, saying that Africa would rather miss a trade with the nations advocating for LGBTQ than legalizing the vice. No to LGBTQ and go to defend what must be defended. We must defend our culture, we must defend what we believe in, and we must defend our morality. Meanwhile, the planned elections of new board members for the Association for the Physically Disabled of Kenya, APDK, aborted after two functions within the association in Kejinawa of words. Officials of the APDK claimed that only 260 registered members were required to participate in the polls, yet over 900 people with disability showed up for the elections. It would be very unfortunate <coughs> if we allow an organization that is now 66 years old and which is doing a good job to be used by those who believe it will benefit them. Because if we do that, I want to assure you that it will go down. We do not understand why they run away from their own members who want to lead. We have, we have no interest in getting any monetary funds from APDK. What we want is to help the people, uh, persons with disabilities of this country. Nahapa hatuleti siyasa yoyote hakuna siyasa hapa. Sisi tulikuwa tunataka kuleta change katika APDK. In Kiambu County, the Kenya Wildlife Services has deployed officers in villages located in Juja constituency to hunt down hyenas that have claimed the lives of innocent residents in the recent past. Still in Kiambu County, tens of rental houses investors in the Thika of Fafa area woke up to a rude shock Wednesday morning after the houses were demolished by a private investor who claimed the houses sat on his land. Elsewhere, Kilifi County government has called for concerted efforts among residents and environmental stakeholders to clean up Malindi town to attract more tourists. Finally, clerics have faulted the government for failing to address the high cost of living that has left the majority of Kenyans on the edge of losing hope. Wa Kenya walitarajia kutoka kwa hiyo kamati ya uwiano ilikuwa ni swala la kupunguza gharama ya maisha. Kwa sababu hiyo diyo inahusu ina muhusu mkenya siku ya leo, diyo inamuhusu kila mkenya. For Prime Edition, Ampurity, Musioka.